Good ignorant man. Break the gate. Ah. That's the difference between you and me. You break the gate, I'd hop the wall. Yes, what are you glad? It's the Fajr Ashkadi and Clark Kazawaki. Hello everybody in YouTube land and welcome back to the Kazawaki Show. Today we're on the Fuller Rally Trail following Paul on his BMW 650. And we're heading towards Madhu Church. Madhu Church? I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. That's our first point on the rally and we're following Paul because he knows where he's going. Fifteen minutes away from it. So, I do not know much about this. I did do my research this morning, but uh, I didn't do it very well. Kind of that leaving sort of thing where you write out loads of notes, but you don't uh, actually study them. So that's kind of what I did this morning. Um, I do. Uh, I, do you know what? I'm not even going to continue to say that name. This interesting photo rally point. Uh, is a Church of Ireland church which was built in 1870, no, 1860s, I think. And very hard to find any information about this on the internet, actually. Um, I think it was, there's two things of interest about it. It's, it was in operation up until 1989. The last service was held in 1989. And operating from 1860s I think and it was rebuilt in oh fuck's sake the problem I have now is I'm mixing up I researched lots of photo rally points this morning and I'm mixing up all the information uh, so I may have to just flash things on the screen here It was damaged by a fire in 1860s or 1870s, I think. And it was repaired uh, using a, a loan, which was a sum of 50 pounds. Um, and a fella Jessup of... Jeez, I can't even remember the name. Is it Jessup Estate? Donated a bell or 10 pounds at some point couldn't find much interesting about or much information about the church itself really online but something that was very interesting which I did find how the Jessops came to become lords of that area apparently during the plantation period the um, a soldier was granted a discharged soldier was granted the lands in recognition of his service and he took himself off down to Longford town where he inquired for somebody to bring him to the lands and show him what he'd what he had been uh, granted and the chap he who offered to bring him and do this for him was a, a butler in uh, in the town of Longford and he brought him to the top of the mountain the name of which I've forgotten even though I wrote it down in my little notebook and he uh, he pointed out the most desolate, miserable looking patch of ground that he could find. And apparently the soldier commented that, you know, in terms of how poor the quality of the land was, that if you could find someone who'd give him five pounds and a horse to take him away out of this miserable place, he'd give them the land he was, uh, he'd been granted. So if he did, of course, the butler put his hand in his pocket, pulled out five pounds, and went away and sourced a horse for him to take him back to uh, Dublin. And that is exactly how the Jessops came to be the landlords in that area. 
but it didn't do much good anyway because the last lord the last Jessup fella to, to hold the title of that land lost it in a card game in the military barracks at a ball in Longford lost the whole thing in one uh, one hand of cards so that was the most interesting thing that I found about Madhu or I don't know Paul will tell me the right way to pronounce this when we get there and I will correct my pronunciation accordingly Maidu Maidu yeah so it's Maidu if you're basing it on the Irish spelling pronunciation is Maidu it's a Maidu I don't know, I'll be able to vlog all day today, let's... My throat has cut since Wednesday. Whatever the hell is wrong with me, I don't know. Can't seem to shake it. But, uh... How in the hell did I miss this on the way down? Fortunately, this man knows where he's going. Back up this road! Yeah! After a slight minor detour due to poor uh, sat-nav coordinates on my part and Paul coming to a cross and thinking it was left instead of right we've just put 20 minutes onto our journey today and we are now currently making our way back up to the village of Maidu now we're coming back up now to the crossroads we went up that way but I mile or so, turned around, came back and turned left and where we needed to go was here so that's it Moido Church of Ireland Built 1765, rebuilt after a fire in 1831, and the last service was 1987. Earliest inscription was 1640, and the last burial was 1968. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> now, I go for a ramble around here. What's this thing? Oh, is this why he's now to go down? Oh, this is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll go down there. Hmm. Nettles in the window. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Now there is some basement in this. I think. So to be careful where you stand. fairly cool though. And the old tiles are still there, no? Oh no, there's a spot up here. Now, when I was looking online, they did mention something about a basement. 
under the sacristy or something. I need to be very careful about where I'm standing because I'm assuming those steps that I went down outside and changed my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it would be. This is cool. In 1987 was the last service that was in here. Very, very cool. Now, oh Jesus, now. <laughs> and as usual, breaking and entering with a high vis helmet is always ill advised. School. <coughs> oh, what a shitty, shitty day. I don't know if I'm actually going to vlog a lot of this, lads, because my throat is absolutely caught. Uh, there was big plans of doing uh, doing a massive amount of points today, but I can see us getting the day is getting on now. It's one o'clock in the day. I was expecting to be back at four, having been to Sligo. The next point, which is the the signal in Dromode, which is. God, I can't remember these photo rallies or Iron Boat Association and points. 